Hello everyone, today I want to show you my updated coffee workflow because I added some equipment from Amazon this past week. So I'm using this video to track and see how it affects my workflow and hopefully if you like anything on this video then you can purchase it yourself for your own workflow at home. Of course I will link everything in the description box. I do not have an Amazon storefront or nothing is affiliated with me, nothing is sponsored, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Although, I wish it was. Anyway, the first thing that I got from Amazon is this dosing cup. For weighing the coffee beans on my scale, I used to use like an IKEA ceramic bowl. But I really love using this dosing cup um, just because it makes it easier for me to weigh the beans and then grind the beans in it and then transfer it onto my portafilter. I used to use a magnetic funnel type thing that attaches to your portafilter and I get the appeal of it but the magnet wasn't strong enough so I couldn't use it to push the button down on my grinder and sometimes I would lose beans that way so I really prefer using a dosing cup instead of that funnel. Again, it just makes it a lot easier to weigh the beans before and after the grind. Another purchase from Amazon that I really love is this roll away drawer. Since purchasing this, it has been a lot easier to fill the water tank in the back. And it serves as a good storage because you have a lot of coffee accessories that you can just store in that little drawer right there. I also purchased new coffee rags that come in various sizes. And I've been enjoying using them instead of my white, ugly towels. This is where the beauty of the dosing cup really shines for me. I did not waste any coffee at all, which is amazing. My husband and I are debating on purchasing the needle distributor, but I think for now this is fine. We're also looking for a tamper that has force on it already, but that's definitely a luxury that we are willing to wait on. For now, we're just practicing our puck prep and espresso extractions. Oh, another thing that I figured out is that this red dot on the Ranchilio Silvia, um, I don't know what this is called. Well, there's a red dot on there that indicates a complete seal where there's no more droplets on your extraction. And thanks to my husband for finding that out. As you can see, it's an even tamp in the middle, which is good. And the extraction turned out really well. I, I love the separation of colors here. And now I'm just cleaning. You find that it's like 30% coffee and then the rest cleaning. <laughs> The rags I purchased I think came with two of these black rags and then a huge brown rag and then one blue rag for the portafilters. In my previous video I mentioned that I don't like hot drinks and I only like ice drinks and I'm sticking to my MO. From Amazon I just added three pumps of the caramel Tarani syrup and then stirring that in for my oat milk latte. I love the color of it, not too much oat milk. You can taste the espresso and the chocolate notes of the espresso as well. And then here's where I decided, oh wait, I should make coffee for my husband. So I decided to film again and just show a different angle, I guess. Oh, another thing that we got are airtight coffee containers. This one is a new bag from another local roaster here. But my husband purchased dark matter beans. I don't know what they're called, but we, we have yet to try them, but we will try them soon since we have these containers now. Okay, so now I'm just going to shut up. Um, I will say that I failed to film the extraction for my husband's coffee, so just pretend like it's the same extraction from the oat milk latte that I had before, but okay, I'm for real going to shut up now, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you make more coffee, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye!